Airbus has broken its silence on a crisis threatening one of its most important aircraft programs. The A220 family faces mounting technical issues that have forced airlines worldwide to ground jets, cannibalize parts from older aircraft, and scramble to maintain flight schedules. What started as isolated engine problems has escalated into a broader acknowledgement from the manufacturer about vulnerabilities affecting not just the A220, but also flight control systems across its narrow body fleet. The scale of the disruption is staggering. Nearly 17% of the global A220 fleet has been grounded due to persistent Pratt & Whitney PW1500G engine corrosion issues and critical parts shortages. Swiss International Airlines has resorted to cannibalizing engines from its A220-100 aircraft to keep A220-300 jets operational. This desperate measure highlights the severity of component availability problems plaguing the program. Airlines that invested heavily in the A220 for its fuel efficiency and operational flexibility now face utilization rates far below expectations. Airbus has delayed some A220 deliveries, narrowing the window to reach production targets set earlier this year. The manufacturer had ambitious plans to ramp up output, but engine reliability problems and supply chain constraints have forced a recalibration of those goals. Carriers waiting for new aircraft face extended delays, disrupting fleet planning and route expansion strategies across multiple continents. The engine corrosion issue stems from exposure to high sulfur environments and aggressive operating conditions. Pratt & Whitney identified the problem in specific batches of PW1500G engines, but the fix requires extensive inspection, part replacement, and regulatory approval before engines can return to service. The repair process has proven slower than anticipated, leaving airlines with fewer available aircraft than their schedules demand. Beyond the A220-specific challenges, Airbus issued a sweeping warning about solar radiation potentially corrupting flight control software on A320 family aircraft. The company stated that intense solar activity could interfere with critical avionics systems, forcing emergency fleet actions and software overrides. This revelation represents one of the most candid public acknowledgments from Airbus about underlying technical vulnerabilities in its narrow body fleet. Reuters reported that Airbus issued an emergency recall affecting thousands of A320 family jets after flight control failures linked to solar flares. The company warned that geomagnetic disturbances from solar radiation may cause data corruption in flight control computers, potentially leading to unexpected system behavior during flight operations. This environmental factor adds a new dimension to aviation safety considerations that regulators and manufacturers must now address systematically. The radiation-related issues prompted Airbus to develop software patches and hardware modifications to shield sensitive avionics from electromagnetic interference. The company stated that operators must implement these changes within specified timeframes to maintain airworthiness certification. The cost and logistical complexity of fleet-wide modifications place additional burdens on airlines already struggling with maintenance backlogs and crew shortages. Swiss reported operational losses directly attributable to A220 groundings, with the airline forced to lease replacement aircraft at premium rates to cover scheduled routes. The financial impact extends beyond direct operational costs to include compensation for delayed passengers reaccommodation expenses, and reputation damage among business travelers who value schedule reliability. Other A220 operators report similar challenges. Air Baltic, the largest A220 operator globally, has publicly discussed fleet availability problems that forced route cancellations and schedule adjustments. The airline stated that engine shop visits take longer than planned, creating bottlenecks in maintenance facilities already operating near capacity. Pratt & Whitney committed additional resources to accelerate engine repairs and expand spare parts inventory, but industry analysts question whether these measures will resolve availability issues before the peak summer travel season. The engine manufacturer faces pressure from multiple fronts as its geared turbofan technology, used across several aircraft programs, encounters reliability issues that surpass initial expectations. Airbus production facilities continue manufacturing new A220 aircraft, but delivery schedules remain uncertain as long as engine availability constrains handover rates. The company stated that it maintains confidence in the A220 program long-term, 
emphasizing the aircraft's strong order book and positive customer feedback on operational efficiency when engines perform as designed. The convergence of engine reliability problems, supply chain constraints, and newly identified avionics vulnerabilities creates a perfect storm for the A220 program. Airlines that bet on this aircraft as a fleet cornerstone now face difficult decisions about capacity planning, route networks, and backup aircraft sourcing. Industry observers note that modern jet programs rely on complex interdependencies where single component failures can cascade into system-wide disruptions affecting thousands of flights and millions of passengers worldwide. Regulatory authorities monitor the situation closely, requiring detailed reporting from both Airbus and Pratt and & Whitney on corrective actions and timeline projections for returning grounded aircraft to service. Airbus just landed a shocking deal in China worth over $4 billion, and this changes everything. The announcement just came through, catching Boeing off guard at a time when both manufacturers are fighting tooth and nail for market share. 55 new aircrafts are heading to Chinese carriers, and the timing couldn't be more strategic for Airbus as tensions between Washington and Beijing continue to simmer. represents the fastest-growing aviation market on the planet. Airbus secured firm orders for 55 A320 family jets from Junyao Airlines and Spring Airlines valued at approximately $4.1 billion at list prices. The deal was finalized during a period when Western aircraft manufacturers have faced years of uncertainty in the region due to political friction, trade disputes, and regulatory challenges. Airbus demonstrated it still holds considerable leverage in Beijing, a position many industry analysts believed was weakening. The European manufacturer now strengthens its long-term foothold in Asia while sending a clear signal to competitors and investors worldwide. Junyao Airlines, based in Shanghai, operates a fleet focused on domestic and regional international routes. Spring Airlines, also headquartered in Shanghai, is one of China's largest budget carriers. Both airlines have been expanding rapidly to meet surging demand for air travel across the Asia-Pacific region. The A320 family remains the backbone of single-aisle operations for carriers globally known for fuel efficiency and operational flexibility. Airbus has delivered thousands of A320 aircraft to Chinese airlines over the past two decades, building deep relationships with state-owned and private carriers alike. Yet, the narrative takes an unexpected turn when examining the broader competitive landscape. Airbus CEO Guillaume Fowry acknowledged in recent statements that Boeing is projected to surpass Airbus in total net orders for 2025. Boeing is expected to end the year with approximately 908 net orders compared to Airbus's estimated 700. This projection contradicts the typical storyline especially considering Boeing's prolonged safety crises, production slowdowns, and regulatory scrutiny following the 737 MAX disasters. Airlines appear to be placing bets on Boeing's recovery trajectory, increased demand for wide-body aircraft, and improving relations with aviation authorities across multiple jurisdictions. Boeing has faced intense pressure since two fatal 737 MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 led to a global grounding and a cascade of financial and reputational damage. Production issues, supply chain disruptions, and labor disputes further complicated Boeing's path forward. Despite these setbacks, the American manufacturer has seen renewed interest from carriers anticipating fleet modernization and long-haul expansion. Boeing's wide-body offerings, including the 787 Dreamliner and 777X, remain attractive to airlines planning intercontinental growth. Airbus dominates narrow-body deliveries, but Boeing's strength in larger aircraft categories keeps the competition fierce. The geopolitical dimension of this rivalry cannot be ignored. Aircraft purchases often serve as tools of diplomatic leverage. China has historically used orders from Airbus and Boeing to signal favor or displeasure with European and American governments. 
Airbus's ability to close the deal suggests Beijing may be hedging its bets, maintaining relationships with European suppliers while keeping options open with American manufacturers. Global air traffic is projected to grow substantially over the next decade, with the Asia-Pacific region driving much of that expansion. The International Air Transport Association forecasts passenger numbers will continue rising, pushing airlines to order hundreds of new jets annually. Airbus and Boeing together control the vast majority of the commercial aircraft market, leaving little room for emerging competitors like China's Comac to gain significant traction in the near term. The split between Airbus winning in China and Boeing leading in global orders reflects a deeply divided market. Airlines in different regions have varying priorities based on fleet needs, financing options, and political considerations. Airbus excels in narrow body efficiency and has built strong ties with Asian carriers, while Boeing retains loyalty among American and Middle Eastern airlines focused on long-range operations. The outcome of 2025 could determine which company regains true dominance in an industry still recovering from pandemic-era disruptions and grappling with labor shortages, supply chain bottlenecks, and environmental regulations. Relations between the United States and China will play a major role in shaping future aircraft orders. Trade policies, tariffs, and certification agreements all influence purchasing decisions. Airlines factor in not only aircraft performance and cost, but also the stability of bilateral relationships when committing billions to new fleets. Pricing pressures and competition among carriers will intensify as capacity increases, potentially squeezing margins and forcing airlines to prioritize fuel-efficient models. The next decade of aircraft manufacturing hinges on who can deliver reliable jets on time while navigating complex international politics and shifting market demands. In 2021, Airbus ended production of the world's largest passenger aircraft. Four years later, the same aircraft returned to boardroom discussions at the highest levels of global aviation. But just recently, one airline openly pushed for its revival, while Boeing's largest widebody program remained delayed. That aircraft is the Airbus A380, and its potential return is tied to shifting market pressure and stalled alternatives. The push for an A380 comeback is led by Emirates. The airline operates more than 100 A380 aircraft, more than all other airlines combined. While most carriers retired the type, Emirates expanded its use. Emirates President Tim Clark has publicly confirmed that he has repeatedly urged Airbus to study a re-engineered A380, commonly referred to as A380neo. Clark stated that the airline has provided Airbus with detailed proposals outlining how a new version could be built and operated more efficiently. Clark stated that Airbus estimated a redevelopment cost of approximately $20 billion. He responded that